Iron Man fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we're here today doing the Ultimate Iron Man Competition Season Zero, which is kind of the test season, so to speak. Anyway, we're just looking at the beautiful sunrise of, um, what the heck is the name of this planet again? Dured, 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 or something like that? Anyway, I guess I could look. Durana. Okay. I sort of knew it. Um, yeah. So, today is moving day. I'm in the process of stripping this thing down. I've already, like, whew, I'll show you, show you what I, uh, kind of filled up my, um, so I put that, I put that, um, turret, the multi-turret that I looted on the little HV there, and we took it out to the, uh, we took it out to those POIs that we took down for the mission, and, uh, multi-tooled them down, and we got a hefty sum of stuff, and I'm going to show you here, um, Whew. So we've got like full stacks of hardened steel blocks. A couple of them in that one anyway. Uh, almost a full stack of combat steel blocks. And then a bunch of miscellaneous odds and sods. Uh, a bunch of stuff that can just go in the constructor and stuff. We uh, we took back the stuff from the base, those all the turrets and stuff, right? Because, you know, of course. Um, a little bit of concrete that from making the uh, the little the little turret stands, which worked fantastic, by the way. I had no issues with troops around the POI. Uh, that was if I can do that again, I probably will. That was really effective uh, for fairly cheap and not having to rely on a vehicle to do it. They just kind of ignored them. Which was really weird. They they completely ignored the. I, I guess it was because it was a POI that I had taken over, right? Uh, so yeah, not much in the other one, but you know, stuff. So stuff. All this stuff can contribute to blueprints, um, which we actually have one ready. Woo is going to be our first capital vessel. It's a peeny, peeny, peeny little, oof, it's real tiny, but it is made out of combat steel, so it can take a bit of a hit, but I did remove all the uh, drills from it, so it's going to be a little bit exposed, so I think we're going to, we're going to fill those drill holes with, uh, with probably some combat steel again. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to have to move this what to call this. I wanted to call it Betsy. Ugh. I don't know why that was the first word that came to mind. It's, it's, uh, well, you know what? It's Betsy now. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Good enough. Betsy. There we go. Um, Let's take up. We're going to get her out of here. Just uh, stump her over here. I'm on the roof here is fine. Oops. If I can, you know, straighten out, fly right. Okay. So. Let's get this thing spawned in. So I'm going to face this direction and spawn the drone. Okay. We should be able to fit it right here. No problemo. Main minor point five. Come on. Go up a bit then. Page up. No. Come on. Really? Really? You can do this to me? After I said no problemo? 
Oh, I saw it go per, uh, green for a second, didn't I? Didn't I? Here, let's... Oh, do I just gotta make it a slightly bit longer? Really? Oh, oh no, I saw it turn green there for a second. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I got it. Jesus, it just barely fit. Okay, but, you know, barely fit is better than not fit. There we go. We've got our first capital vessel that is warp capable. It's, a, it's got some guns on it, which are kind of pointing all over the place, which is kind of funny. Um, and then it's got spots for the drills, obviously, that I had removed. Really, it's got not much else. It's got an advanced constructor inside. Um, food processor, armor locker. It does have a repair station. But no repair bay, obviously, because this isn't really a... Um, this isn't technically supposed to be a CV that would be carrying vehicles around, but, you know, any CV is capable of it, if you know how to do it, and so what we're going to be doing is, let's get in this thing, we're going to be, um, can I, oh, 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 oh yeah, <laughs> that was actually quite the impressive feat. You may laugh now, but <laughs> I won't be ever to pay, pull that off in combat. So, you know, I, I gotta I gotta give myself kudos where I can, because I'll just suck in combat trying to do that. Okay, um, yeah. Let's slide right in. Sit right down. And Reach down between my legs, shift the seat back, because the view is not what I want. You thought I was going to say something else, didn't you? <laughs> um, right there. <laughs> okay, let's check it out. Quit the dawdling here. Doesn't have much, like I said. The the one advanced constructor, a food processor, four harvest boxes though, because with those six lasers mounted on it, it and and if you know where all the um um all the asteroids are, like especially for multiplayer, you have them all marked, and when they regen, you just fly back there and and uh, mine them all again. So I've actually filled up more than, I filled up three harvest boxes in one bout of mining before. So, so yeah, I mean, I, I, I think it's great. And if I need to, I'll put, I'll mount a multi turret on the front of it to uh, multi turret, you know, bases out in space if I need to. So, um, other than that, it's not got much. Uh, it uses two of the higher end RCS because I had space. <laughs> Straight up. Uh, it has no thrusters other than the small thrusters. Now, granted, um, it has six in every direction set for going to the back. It has eight. It's actually quite fast and maneuverable for a tiny little thing. So it's it's not bad. It can avoid combat if it needs to. It can take a hit being combat uh, steel. So it's it's not a slouch. And it's got warp. So all in all, it's a it's a good little CV for us to start off with. Um, yeah, it doesn't have a hangar bay, but doesn't really matter. Let's fill this thing up. 
see how much. 230. Let's see what 230 does. 26%. Yay. Hey, it's trying to fire at stuff. Yeah, I got no ammo. Uh, well, let's... Hmm? Half full. Not bad. Uh, I don't want to use up all my fuel, but... Ugh, we're almost there. Let's just do it. Gosh, darn it. Okay, so it does require a lot of fuel to fill it up, which is good. It, it actually lasts quite a while. You can see uh, 4,824 minutes. Um, that's with the thrusters off. If I'm pretty sure, let's, even if we auto group, if things were already marked in a group somehow so let's say there yeah see that still has the engines custom group okay so that is also governed by the engines and yeah so they all kept their engines one okay good um i'm glad that happens now in the blueprint so i don't think that was happening before okay um, or sorry, not in blueprints, but on the uh, vessels. I don't think that was happening before. I don't think it would keep its groupings. Once you uh, auto grouped, it wouldn't keep its uh, customs. So, uh, yeah, excellent. We've got a thing to fly. So let's fly it. Thrusters. Well, actually, I need the whole engine's turn on the RCS. So we're going to just take off here a little bit. Just lift off. I just got to pull forward so that uh, I can do stuff. What's it trying to shoot? I don't know what it's trying to shoot, but I don't really want it shooting, so I'm not going to put any ammo in it right now. I'll do that later. So, hmm, too much of an angle. Let's figure this out. I'm just going to back up a bit. Let's see if that looks level. Because the ground starts rising, so if I can... Oh, I, am I going to kill the mushroom? Oh, there, that's pretty level. That worked. Yeah, the ground started rising. It's it's level enough. It's still a little pitched up a bit, but not that bad. Okay. Uh, let's just kill the engines for now. We don't have to worry about the drills. I've, you know... <laughs> uh, turned some weapons. We don't really have to worry about since I don't got any ammo in them. So, uh, lights, we're not going to worry about. Okay. So the power will just keep on temporarily. I mean, we've got 95 hours of fuel at this point with this current energy state. Um, well, let's fill it up. So basically what I'm going to do, uh, I'm not going to do this on camera. I'm not going to move all my stuff in here off camera. I just wanted to spawn it in on camera, right? But you don't want to see me move on camera. Uh, and when I'm ready to move, when we're ready to take off, I'll come back and get you. Okay, we are back. Um, everything's pretty much stripped down out of the base now. And I've parked the vehicles. Well, I've, they're going to get towed, basically, is what's going to happen. Anyway, there's one last thing to do. And that was, I flipped this guy over using the control panel. So I went into um, him and changed him to armor and boost. And now he has armor and boost available. Um, so the one last thing I want to do before we take off is I want to sell what I have on me here is I don't want, I don't need. These are all extras. I have more. 
I have like another three suits of heavy armor, a couple more suits of medium armor, and all the boosts that I need. These are all extra. So I'm going to try and sell them. So I'm just, as I see them highlight, I'm going to keep selling till I can't. Well, obviously the multi-pack, multi and Some of them I keep because they're just like the rads I kept and then and a couple of the EVAs. I kept all the multis. I kept all the armor. Um, I think I kept all the insulation. Yeah, we're getting some decent money now. Wow. Okay, we're up to a quarter mil. Um, so he won't he won't buy any more, and I don't have any more heavy armor I want to sell. Okay, well, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We got rid of a whole bunch of shit and now have a quarter million dollars. Let's see. I'm not sure if he'll actually trade with us again. Even I, I think we've got to come back in an hour. I'm going to... Uh, what did he have before? Um, resources? Is that what I think? I think he had resources, right? Oops, no, not seeds. Seeds, weapon, armor boost. What is resources? That's the one, because uh, I want the pentaxid, uh, refined pentaxid. I think that's it. Okay. So, and no. So I think what I got to do is I got to like log off and log back in to change that now. Um, Hmm, I kind of do need it really bad, so let's just do that really quick. Okay. Okay, let's see if he's changed now. No, he didn't. Maybe see. Last time I did, I had one of these guys. He bugged out, and I couldn't change him again. Like I, I changed him once, and then that was it. And he wouldn't change again. And when he did change, he only half changed. Like he kept half of what he had before, and only, and only offered half of the new stuff. It was just so screwed up. Uh, you know what? I'm. I'm fine with him just being an armor boost guy because now I know where to come back if I really need to buy heavy armor and boosts or sell them. So, you know, good enough. On this ugly note, no, let's turn my jet, my uh, light on. See, I what I did is I just put um, docking clamps on the fronts of the vehicle, oh, got some damage on this one still, whatever, and and then I just butt it up against them and they dock, you just, as long as it stops moving, it'll dock to it, and that's good enough, so what, now that they're docked, we can, let's put, turn our jetpack on, We are ready to go. So we can just. Uh, we don't have enough space. See, I kept. See what I'm saying? I kept like uh, a couple of each. So we, these, this is literally just spare. That's how much I had looted. It was, you know. Uh, there for now. Okay. Okay. We got water. That should go in the. Food processor. So that didn't have any. And okay, I got a little bit of room in there. Oof. Not much. Not much. But 
I've got sprouts pretty much of every type that I'm going to need, right? So I've got the... Where's my spice ones? Where's all my spice sprouts? Oh, they're probably in a... They're in one of these because they can fit in there without spoiling, right? Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of sprouts, sprouts here, so... Oh, that's going to spoil. So yeah, I've got... I've got a lot more medical stuff there too, so that's good. Uh, okay, so... We should just put that back in the food processor. Yeah, we can just put that in the advanced constructor. Okay. I think we're ready to go. So let's do this. We're gonna turn on the oxygen. We're gonna turn on the lights. We're gonna turn on the engines. And then what we do need to do though is go in and adjust our turrets. So I'm gonna turn Predator off. Should be good, right? No, you know what? I don't want to attack the uh, like. Let's say I warp somewhere in a space and I attack the the uh, the mission POI by accident and like I don't know, blow something up on it. I get disqualified myself. So let's just. I don't need to be attacking bases with this thing at all. Okay, well let's go. So, I don't even know if we're going to collect any more Pentaxid. I don't even think we're going to go to the moon. It's kind of funny. This uh, I didn't use my SV to go to space at all, really, other than just to peek my head in. I didn't really do anything. So, kind of funny. I got a warp CV, and I didn't utilize any of the mats out in space here or on the moon. Well, that's just, you know, that's just how I roll. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I ended up doing that, having a warp-capable CV before even going into space, but whatever. Uh, it happens. So, Strenus. Okay. We'll see what we can see. Friggle is closer to the sun. I I do want to get as close to the sun as possible to build a base, because that's a space base. But in the meantime, we'll warp there. There we go. Our first warp of Ultimate Iron Man. Okay, so what have we got over there? It looks like maybe a trading station. Nice. Uh, oh, what do we got here? Iron, copper, silicone, magnesium, neodymium, and promethium in orbit. Neo and magnesium and the three and the four basic in orbit here. Nice. Okay. Uh, what about the planet itself iron cobalt silicon magnesium neodymium promethium with depletion of iron okay um well we've got iron copper silicone magnesium neo promethium so we got no ah uh, no sathium that can be a big a bit of a problem. I do have a full stack, though, of the ore from the from the uh, deconstructor. So, or full stack of ingots of sathium. So, 
Yeah. We should be able to get by for ingot wise, and then we have all those blocks that we can deconstruct into plates, which is mostly what's needed for the sathium. Although to make more coils and crap like that, we need the ore or the ingots. Uh, so we can warp to Friggle, and now we can see an asteroid field. Hmm. Well, I think we're going to stay in Strenus right now. We're not going to worry about uh, um, yeah, we're we're not going to worry about warping all over the place right now. I think I think we're going to stick to Strenus. Although that that is a lot closer to the sun. It's only it would be 20 AU. If I did that, we're definitely trapped, trapped in Strenus if I do that. Okay, well, in the meantime, let's go check out the trading station. And if we spot any uh, resource asteroids on the way, we'll, we'll mark those come back for him. What size planet was that? Oops. Oh, that's a big one. Crap. What are its stats like anyway? Atmospheric density 1.1, not too bad. Gravity 1, meh. Between 3 and 66, radiation 0.2, so. Nominal. It's got water down there, so we can make, we can generate oxygen. But we're going to need to go do that. Not right away, we've got, we've got a lot of oxygen right now, so it's meh. But I will need a whole bunch more for the fuel. I need a lot of water. Okay. So. Let's turn our auto brake off. We're just going to point to it. We're going to turn. We're going to just take our fingers off. the. Oh, see, I bumped the mouse. Now, I probably scrubbed speed off doing that. No, I'm still... Okay, if I if I turn too fast, it scrubs speed off. See, if I turn really slow, we seem to be okay. See, there's the speed thing. If I turn really fast, see, I'm not sure. Oh, uh, now I don't know now. It doesn't seem to be affected. It doesn't seem to have... Uh, the, whoa! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> Holy crap! I almost hit it. Shh! I didn't hit it. Okay. Uh. God, what a peeny little. Piss hole of a station, like really? Is there actually gonna even be traders on it? <laughs> is this like, or is this like real? Oh, it hasn't been updated. So this is interesting. I haven't seen this one before. So this should be fun. Let's go check it out. Uh, let's put on a, um, uh, EVA, because I'm not an idiot, usually, <laughs> sometimes. Okay, uh, food, just because. What do I got on me? I've got a little bit of O2. Hmm. I 
like that. Is there anything? I thought I'd put some water, just regular water. There we go. We'll grab that. We can always make some more if we uh, run out and panic. We can make some panic. Uh, oh, do we have uh, gravity here? Nice. Okay. Um, though that's not going to help me right now because I need to float out here. POI. This is a, uh, well, not, not an admin, but this was like a POI. This is... Wasn't this in, um... Oh, where's it from now? This is from... Oh, I... Um... Shadows of Starlight. This is from Shadows of Starlight, isn't it? This is one of the chunks of the one of the missions ends that end up coming here, isn't it? Oh, it sure looks like this design. I don't know. I could just be, you know, a complete idiot. So, what do we got here? We've got. Okay, medical, so let's get everything he's got. Uh, bandages, I don't need any of those, but the health packs, I'll buy them all, whatever he's got. The family kits, buy them all. Detox, buy them all. Decontamination, buy them all. And I've got lots of the uh, non-healing types. Okay. Good, thank you, buddy. Got lots of bandages, don't need those. Okay, so what was, there's stairs there. We'll come back to them. Let's go talk to these guys. So, what does he do? Do you do drills, medium armor? Oh, he does uh, refined pentaxid. 87, that's gonna clean me dry. Oh well, let's do it. Oof, that was expensive, but that's a lot of taxid. Okay, we can warp kind of all over the place now. That really gave us a lot of freedom. Um, oh, Neo's cheap here. No Sathium, but I should be able to find a bunch of Neo, eh? I, I'm not going to waste my money on Neo right now. I think I'm going to save it all for Pentaxid because it's super expensive. Yeah. Yeah. And the the I don't want to turn the crystals I find into re I don't want to refine them because I want to probably use them for actual. Okay, this guy. Needs I want to use them for for uh, ammunition. Like metaxid really isn't that easy to get in the game right? unless you find a a an asteroid of it or a huge deposit it's um it's kind of a pain in the butt oh that's gonna cook me anyone down here nope just just really dangerous stuff okay so what does this do did that turn that off no <laughs> for you not sure what whoa whoa whoa, whoa. <laughs> turn to look at some not sure what the um, what that switch did is this active no that would be crazy for me to take the teleport thing wouldn't it do I have any no I don't I have a credit card somewhere I found it in the constructor um, oh well, I, I don't know, it's on the ship still. Doesn't matter, I don't need it. 
Okay, so is that it? Is that it? So why is there so two doors? So that see that's just weird. And then What is the point of that? <sighs> Whatever. I guess if you go like this and... Why didn't they just punch the door through higher? And push... This is just a weird design. I'm not quite sure. I guess it has to do with shipping and receiving. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. We've got a crap ton of Pentaxid now. We're, uh, we're free to go check things out. So I think we should do that. We're not stuck here now. Um, in fact, let's just fill it. <laughs> yeah, nice. Uh, well, we're not going to be stuck if we go over to the other one. So let's do that. And we can see what's there. Okay. dots, no red arrows, so I'm thinking we're not going to die right away. Um, what do we got here? We've got iron, copper, neo, and a, ooh, a restroom. Wow. Wow. Oh, we can see more. Alien Outpost, 25. Uh, gore, gore, gore something. Well, this is really central here. It has, it connects to everything fairly closely. Other than the, the original planet, This one connects to everything else by the look of it. So, so that is our next mission planet. So I guess, I guess while we're here, I'm gonna go around and look for um, these ores, and I'm not gonna bore you guys with it. Um, and whew, I really want to go there too for 22. That's 44 round trip. 53. 64, 44. That'd leave us with 20. And then to warp back to strenuous was... That will be 10. We'd have 10 left. Whew. Is there a trader? Is there a trader? I didn't see if there. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's PVE. Isn't that interesting? It's not very cold either. That's trippy. It's got high radiation though. A restroom. Well, I'm gonna hang out here and try and find the freaking restroom. Um, cause yeah, and then, what else was there too? Neo, Neo and a restroom. The iron and copper would be cool too, but, uh, I've got lots of them right now, enough to do what I need to. 
the Neo and Arrestrium, though, I don't really have much of them. So, yeah, I'd like to find them. So, this I'm going to leave it off here. Uh, we're now out in space, warping around like crazy. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we've got money. We've got some more pentaxid we can go explore with. So uh, awesome. Maybe we, we'll, maybe we will go check out one of the other systems still. I haven't quite settled on staying in strenuous quite yet. Although we should get down there and start exploring this planet and try and find where the POI is and come up with a strategy. But I still got a few days before I really got a hardcore buckle down and go after the next POI or the next mission, I should say. So we can take that time to do a little bit of exploring and see if we, we might be able to get some, some more higher end ores to allow us to get some better stuff. So yeah, uh, so next time, stay tuned, see if I was successful. Until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.